Okay, yeah. Uh, hello and welcome to our very first uh, online session, our very first online interview session. Uh, the motto is three minutes. And tonight I have a very special guest. I love him. It's no one else but Mark Biederman from legendary band Blind Illusion. Hi, Mark. Nice to see hello. you. Mark, uh, how are you doing during all these shitty Corona times? Oh, we're doing fine. You know, we're doing all right. I just, uh, I just had a little blepharitis in my eye yesterday, so I went to the hospital, and it's fine. It has nothing to do with the corona. Okay, so are, are we keeping this under three minutes? We better go, right? Oh, yes. So, uh, on my notes, I see two words. Please explain. Blood blast. What's the meaning of that? Okay, well, blood blast is a new record company that is... a is a subsidiary of Believe and Nuclear Blast. What they're doing is they're all streaming platforms. It's over 240 platforms worldwide streaming the music. So now available on Blood Blast as we speak is 2018, the, the EP that we just did, and The Sane Asylum. Okay. The future, they will also have... Uh, the new album that we're recording, The Wrath of the Gods. Okay, that's that's your new album. Can you tell us something about that? Yes, it has uh, several new songs and one old song, um, The Slow Death. And um, Tom Gears has written two songs. That's bassist Tom Gears. He's written Behemoth and Spaced. Well, actually, I wrote the lyrics for those, but nonetheless, he wrote all this crazy great music that's reminiscent of something like Race with the Wizard and Old Blind Illusion. Um, aside from that, we have the amazing Maniacal Monolith, which is more like Blue Oyster Cult and Led Zeppelin. Okay. And then, of course, you have Lucifer's Awakening and Straight as the Crowbar Flies and um, a couple of songs from Doug that we're working on, actually, too. Uh, the Mouth of Hell, I believe, is one of the intros. And then there's another song that I can't remember the name, but it's, uh, it's Gurj, uh, something, uh, some, some strange name. Okay. And the title song, Wrath of the Gods. And we have several other songs. Um, the Cosmic Nautical Tour de Force, Iron Ox, Mahakala. All of these songs will be appearing on one of the either the wrath of the gods or the next album because we can only have like eight songs on a record you know okay and and the, the, this album is already uh, available no the wrath of the gods is uh we're recording it right now as we speak okay. even during covid yes okay. um we've got uh tracks laid down for half of the record and then um drum tracks and the other half is has to be done next yeah. Okay. Okay. So, uh, Mark, uh, um, Blind Illusion's very first album was The Sane Asylum, right? And yes, I sir. read, and I read uh, that um, Mr. Kirk Hammett from Metallica was the producer of this album. Yes. And the album, but his name does not appear on the record. Yes. Because no, his, it's, management yeah. Team, his management team mentioned Bernstein said they wanted ten thousand dollars in their pockets just to put his name on it. Well, we had already given him four grand, and he was there for every session. But okay. whatever, as, as it stands, the strength of the Sane Asylum is how we got all of our good gigs in Europe. You know, ah, okay. and so, so it was a long time ago. Nobody has forgotten. And so that was really great, you know, because there were like three generations of Blind Illusion fans coming to the shows, you know? Oh, yes. Okay. And, and okay. I mean, some of the kids out there are younger than my guitar, you know? <laughs> oh, yeah. So, last, Sane last Asylum, last well, you know, we will always be playing the staples off of the Sane Asylum. But as it stands, I believe that when we release the singles off of the Sane Asylum, of course, Blood Shower and Vengeance is Mine, but actually um, Vicious Visions. Yeah. We're going to push that one, and uh, we're going to bring that one back into the set. Okay, okay. Yeah. Okay, okay Mark, last question. Um, uh, you made a, mu a movie called Death Noise. What about oh, that? <laughs> yes. So I've bitten off a really big uh, piece of the apple here, 
And I think it's going to be great because what happens is a long time ago, I was always thinking, you know, I've got films of Exodus and people, all my friends' bands. Maybe I should just do like a bootleg movie and put it out. Well, I decided to do that, but I didn't decide to go bootleg. I decided to ask the people. And so far, almost everybody has responded. So we've got, uh, it's going to be called Death Noise Volume 1, Thrash Metal, uh, Death Noise Volume 1, Bay Area and Beyond, Thrash Metal Scene Today. So what it's got is everything that Murder in the Front Row doesn't have. It has everybody today and playing music. Now, I love Murder in the Front Row, but we're coming in hot off the heels of it. It doesn't have anything to do with the movie except for that some of the people that should have been in that movie are in this one and just okay. played properly, like Heathen. Okay. We've got, we've got, look at, listen to all these bands we've got. And I, don't even, I didn't even have time to write them all down. This is, we've got Lich King, Unprovoked, In Spades, Plague. The Ghost Next Door and Sacrilege BC, because, you know, Gary Went is in both of those bands, right? Uh, and um, Incredulous, Paralysis from New York City, Negative Six, Fatal Agent, Schizo, At War, Fusion Bomb from Luxembourg, Aberration from Chile, Violent Legacy, Blind Illusion, Mordred, Imagica, Witch Mountain from Oregon, that's with Kay- that's Kayla Dixon's other band, um, Hellbender, Exodus with Rick Hanolt, H Team, Crucifier from Greece, Madrost and Mortado from Italy doing Blood Shower actually, um, Hellway Patrol from Brazil. Okay, now that's for Volume One. One. <laughs> chance to write down volume two but i mean uh, all kinds of bands and i I believe uh west coast fury is supposed to be on this one uh on volume one and check this out though we're gonna have the amazing guitar death show okay where where we have it's the original amazing guitar death show had a a rhythm section but this is just going to be guitars open solos back and back to back and it's even going to have Phil Kentner and Aaron Jellum from Lost Rocket in it. And they will be in volume two. Okay. Yeah. okay well, time is gone. Three minutes over. Thank you so <laughs> much. <laughs> is that funny? Yeah, and interesting. And uh, Mark, I have... 20 seconds. Okay, I'll talk to you later. Uh, Mark, and, and I hope to see, to see you again next year during festivals. I hope that. And... <laughs> This has been Mark Biederman from Blind Illusion, The Ghost Kings, and Blue Oyster Cult's Guitar Orchestra of Imaginos. Signing off. <laughs>